Hey everybody, Jimmy Wild here and welcome back to J76 Gaming and today I have another just really quick video on how to get your Xbox wireless adapter for Windows 10 uh, fixed. So it's really easy to plug in but it just doesn't seem to want to work right away. So let's go here. If you are like me and just bought one of these guys, wireless adapter for Windows 10, and you want to connect your Xbox Series controller or the other ones or the Xbox One, doesn't matter. Um, you may have plugged it in and it just doesn't work. So that kind of threw me for a loop because if you've used this guy before, focus, you just plug it in and it starts working. So I don't know what the difference between um, this and this are for Windows. So let's see so what you'll want to do is it's really it's just a driver that's what usually happens so what you'll want to do is go to your windows button go ahead right click and go to device manager and you will probably see xbox acc will be in other devices with the yellow triangle and you can try to just update the driver here and then you can either search automatically um, or go through Windows Update. You can try those, but it's probably not going to work. At least it didn't work for me on two different machines. So what you'll need to do is just go into Windows Update. And in order to get this to work, you will probably have to check for updates manually. So go ahead and check. Jeopardy music. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait. I'll probably get copyright for that. Uh, all right. Then go into view optional updates and then go down into the driver updates. And you can see I have quite a few of them that I need to, that I may need to get uh, caught up on. But the one that we're looking for is Xbox dash net 7 11 2017. And the version is 1046.1. So go ahead and check box that download and install. And eventually, boom, there we go. All right, and there you go. So now we have uh, Xbox wireless adapter for Windows. Now I have two, and that's because I have one of these guys installed still. So I actually have both of them on here, um, which I should have probably taken that out of there, but it doesn't matter. Anyways, so now you have a working uh, wireless adapter and we have a fix and a very easy fix for Xbox ACC showing up in device manager so that's it and I'll see you later